Uh, Frozen's gonna be staying here in loser semis, fighting off against DA Venia. Let's go, DA versus HO3K, the classic rivalry we see here at Xeno time and again. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we've seen this matchup a couple times tonight already. Uh, Venia having pretty good success, I find, with it. Yeah. Um, well, he did just get knocked into losers by Jen Spalatina. So. Yes. Um, we were talking previously that, uh, Palutena at high level is flexible enough that playstyle really starts to come into it right. uh, as you get higher up. So I think Jen had the player download that he needed on Venya. Uh, and honestly, that was a close set. Like, that could have been anyone's game. Absolutely. So now coming in, ooh, gets the air dodge on that. Yeah, Frozen's been really good at those. I, I feel like Jen didn't really go for that himself with his power. Like, he was, he was he mostly trying to recover, uh, trying to get Venny off stage when he was recovering low. This time you see Frozen opting to go for the explosive flames up high, not trying to give up stage control in the process. Mm -hmm. And catching a lot of, um, I would argue that Venny is sort of going for, like, the aggressive recovery options. Like, oh, Frozen, he's going to go, you know, he's going to try to catch me off stage here with a Nair or something. I'm just going to... Uh, I was, I was about to call it. It's Water Gun, yeah? Yeah. Uh, water Gun. Uh, yeah. I can't well, remember. One of those, one of those. <laughs> Up B. He shoots the water. I think it's Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump. It is Hydro Pump. 100% it's Hydro Pump. Thank I, you. I forgot for a second, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't back you up on that. My bad. But here we go. He shoots his <laughs> H2O pistol to get back to the There stage. you go. Oh, my God. We're going super deep for that. Can afford to. Greninja also has a really good recovery in this game if you know how to use it. Fantastic. Although, uh, it's definitely not free, not having uh, any hitbox on it, meaning with someone like Palutena, who has a lot of multi-hit presence, Down tilt will frames, catch that. Down tilt will catch. Nair catches pretty frequently. Uh, dash attack yeah. will catch and kill. That, I mean, that was good on Frozen's part. He's trying to show off with those uppies, by the way. That, that was good on Frozen's part. Like, not taking too much damage on this. Like, only 1.2, you know? Yes, absolutely. And it's an even game again. Um, so... Once more, this is a matchup that I feel is very difficult if Palutena loses the lead because Greninja does a great time playing aggressively and can still play back. And Palutena doesn't have so great a time playing aggressively. Gets him with the up air chains, doesn't get him for the next one. Manages to get back to the stage without the punish. That was one of the few times where I feel like that could have gotten punished. He fell out of up smash, that yeah. first swing. Lucky for Frozen. That looked like... So there's maybe like two or three hits for the very tip of up smash, right? And I looked like he'd gotten one or two of those, and then he got reset on the platform, and he fell out of the first hit. That's but, all that I can assume. But honestly, that. can we just talk about how Vinny just cleaned up that stock <laughs> very nice, extremely nicely, nicely. Absolutely. Vinny coming in with a third stock. He's making quicker work than I can uh, keep up with him. Ooh. That was something that Joe was doing as well against Vinny specifically, just calling him out with up smash. Mm -hmm. The thing is, up smash is a good option against someone the likes of, oh my god, jab lock, 95% has him off stage. Very rough spot to be in. He's threatening him here with the dash dance, gets off stage, but it's not too scary of a situation. One stock up. Back over the neutral air again, gonna s just smack him off him with the down tilt. Yep, gets saved by the platform there. All right. Explosive flame works out. That was a really risky situation to put it under, especially because Greninja could have run under that. I know a lot of players can get kind of scared when they see Greninja just dash dancing back and forth like that because they don't know when he's gonna go in, but. Sometimes a good option is just to go for like the rando up smash or the explosive flame because it, they can't shield in time. He's in the middle of like startup on the box track. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whoa, that, that messed up his spacing. Yes. And that's a really important um, distinction that I think needs to be made. A lot of people. Uh, okay, he's coming. A lot of. Uh, very uh, dash dance happy players out there, but walking is still very good because dashing is aggressive and it takes away the defensive options of shield and of parry. Uh, in the very beginning. In the very beginning, in the very beginning. Running is still fine, but I'm, uh, initial dash is still just as much of a commitment. Mm. Ooh. There right. is an example of the walk into immediate dash attack. You always have dash attack at the ready because you just got hit the buttons at the same time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go. You don't have to completely go into a dash for it. All right, goes for a down air there, which was an interesting call. I guess he was trying to get uh, Venia if he was coming right at him. But this could be a comeback for Frozen. Mm -hmm. Attack on the damage bit by bit, throwing out the explosive flame to the force Venia to go for that double jump and back off. Yep. See, the thing is, is that uh, Gr this is at the percent where Grindon just confirms they're going to stop working, but. He can start getting stray hits, stray fair. He can get a grab mm -hmm. and go for the kill. So it's never not scary at high percent. And the down tilt still forces a 50-50 situation. Yes. We have to either go for. Oh, yeah. Sniped. That's why they go for up smashes because <laughs> Greninja wants to jump. 
Yes. They get a last of off of their aerials, and up smash covers so much. That was a full hop, and it caught him. Mm -hmm. And a really good call out on the aggression, too. And Frozen has him right. off stage, 118%. Can he get this back air? No, uh, Frozen just gets back. Benny gets back to center stage pretty freely. Yep. And now oh, tries to go for a dash attack, but the forward air came out a little quicker. Benny had taken away that first game, 1 to 0. That was, uh, that was pretty good. I, I think that was uh, pretty clean. It wasn't too wacky towards the end there, even though it kind of came down to a scramble. Um, it was very different. From, I, I keep going back to the other set, but the Jen versus Benya, it was very different from that ending because they were just going back and forth trying to play as safe as possible. Yes. That ending was just, like you said, a scrap. They were just going in. They tried to trade dash attacks, right? There, or like he tried to go for the dash attack. They challenged each other, and his just came out a little bit sooner. So let's go back. Pokemon Stadium 2, probably one of the best stages for Palutena. So no surprise to see it coming back for game number two. Not surprised at all. Now, um, what would you say exactly makes it the best for Palutena? Because I don't actually know too much about what would affect... Um, uh, what stage is she like? Well, so first off, it's like a big stage, right? So that's already like good enough for Palo. Has those platforms in the middle, like they're very perfect for her to just go for the neutral air, uh, neutral airs while not committing to get on top of the platform if she cho chooses. So she can go for short hop neutral airs, catch them if they're standing on the platform, or go for the full hop neutral airs if she wants to go on the platform and continue it upwards with the up airs. I see. So she essentially has a near unreactable mix up of am I or am I not going to be up there? Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Also, the explosive flames from the platforms, you know, allow her to be able to get some really good edge guards. The platform is also in such a way that teleport cancels can easily get off, and so she can just jump all over the place. You saw Frozen doing that first game when he was just kind of taunting a bit by doing a ton, ton of pal teleport cancels. Absolutely. Just really Although, good stage for Palo. Frozen, uh, very good at teleport cancels regardless. Mm -hmm. Like, he is fantastic at that. All right. So playing a little bit back right there. He had the air dodge read, but he was backed up. He was yeah. looking for an aerial to punish, not an air dodge. Oh, the explosive flame was a little bit too high. You saw Venia just low profile that with the dash. Mm -hmm. And that's the scary thing right here, is that he's throwing these out to try to catch the aerial presence, but he opens them up to the ground. And we're oh. going to smack him with that shield bash, taking away that first stock. Mm -hmm. This is looking like a pretty good place right now. Combo uh, begins, gets, gets the, the tech read again on that platform. Very good spot for yep. that neutral air to come in and catch him. 44% doesn't have a jump. I'm surprised he didn't push that a little harder there with no jump. All right, gets him with the fair. The second he lost momentum, the stock was deleted. It takes very little for Greninja to get on you and be back in advantage state. Straight hits. A dash attack again, trying to follow up with the up airs. All right, good pressing. Tries to go for the in-out bait, does get the shield pressure in the grab. And that's one of the good things about Greninja's dash attack, right? Is that you can actually cross up your opponent and go through them with the dash attack. Mm -hmm. So that they can't, like, they go for, like, the incorrect punish. Like, if they're facing one direction, they can't go Absolutely. for, like, a shield grab. And Greninja, especially with something like that, it's very... Wow, that actually... That reached landed. a mile away! <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes you just gotta reach out to heaven and you say, Oh, Lord. Oh, ye gods, please. Grab me a little bit more range, just yeah. for this one. And again, the Explosive Flame, good option. Just force out the air dodge so he loses that option while offstage. Mm -hmm. Goes so offstage with a neutral air. Good option from Frozen, recognizing that Greninja had just had to go completely vertical up. Absolutely. And that again. Shadow Sneak is risky not only because it throws out a hitbox, which we have seen before from uh, Utopian Ray, is parry punishable, and you can go for a punish right after. But because if he's used his jump already, he has to recover from below. And making a recovery more predictable against Palutena, who, as we've said, has the capacity to put out these hitboxes that can catch you, that's not something you want to give to her easily. I top frozen that, by the way. <laughs> Those down tilt chains. Uh, we were talking about Chrom down tilt, and all of a sudden he busts that out. I see you, Frozen. Uh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got Greninja at 986%. Uh, Frozen could be looking for a kill potentially. Yep. Uh, Probably going to play it safe though, because that's Frozen's playstyle. He likes to play yep. it safe. As yep. I say that, you know, up smash catches all the options, goes up super high for the up air. Taking away game number two, Frozen is not out for the count just yet. Find the light at the top of the place. So. Yeah, dude. I mean, you saw you saw the up, up smash is a really good option from Palutena against people that like jumping. Yes. Greninja's a character that likes jumping. He gets a lot off of neutral airs. He gets kills off of forward air and back air. So, it, you know, he gets drills off of up air. Like, he, he just, he has tons of air mobility, so, like, why not go for it? Because he covers so much range. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And he, along with the aerial mobility, he's got enough mix-up in him and enough of, like, 
I want to say lack of commitment on a lot of his moves, even at a higher percent where he could go like, maybe I'll throw it in there, maybe I'll do this, that. Like, I feel like this would be good, that it takes more of a harder read on the jump or like, hey, you're going to be here to call that out. And for something like up smash, which has a bunch of end lag, in theory, it's, oh man, you know, that'd be a risky option. I feel fine, but it works. If they're high enough in the air, you can probably like, it has enough cooldown for you to be able to just shield afterwards too. Yes, absolutely. Or react. Absolutely. And, you know, that's probably a call out to, uh, like, strong keep away too, like, jump off ledge, jump again, which you don't really want to burn your double jump in a matchup like this where Palutena can jungle you, but sometimes you want to go for that. Sometimes you just want to be as far away from your opponent as possible. Now we're going to game three, Town and City for Venia. He low profile he that doing that a lot. grounded version. That's actually cheap. It's really fun to see that happen. <laughs> there we go, you know, just out outranging the auto reticle by just dashing away. Mm -hmm. Tries to go for a second up air. I feel like they both keep doing the same thing against each other where they, whenever they send someone upwards, they want to catch the up air when it's super close to the ceiling. Yes. Because you get a lot of kills off of that. Back air, not going to be enough to kill just yet. Benny going super deep for that potential kill. Yep. Gets back on he stage. He actually gets the punish on his up B. What? What? He was in disadvantage then. <laughs> Yo, that's unfortunate. He had the right call too, just didn't... I don't know. I don't actually know how... Uh, I guess it's a wind box. The wind box from water, how that affects the control now from warps. Oh, okay. almost died for it. Thankfully, nah, he not grabs onto the ledge. He's got the drift. He's got the Death. Good DI. My man has seen initial D. Yeah. <laughs> my man's curving. Oh, oh. no. You, know, you said that, and he heard you, and he's like, wait, I don't have my car, man. He crashed into the wall, going into the second stock. Benny is gonna try to get as much damage as possible. Deja vu, I've been at this percent before. Uh -huh. Zero and it's fresh, and I'm going to look for more. Are you a composer? Oh, uh, no. Okay. I wish. <laughs> Yo, he got the grab on the extension for that. Palestine's grab range is good. Down till again, trying to catch right. that up B, re grabbing onto the ledge. Yep. That's uh, that's scary, this percent too, waiting out your invincibility like that. But that was, that was a good. That, that was the same option for Frozen to go for. If Venny was far enough away where he could throw out an explosive flame for free, and Venny was, was easily trying to throw a little tick throw situation where he throws out the shuriken and dashes in to follow afterwards to follow up with it, and uh, Frozen called it out. All right. Speaking of shurikens, spacing out a little bit, pretty even here, so no one's really committed just yet. Sort of feeling. Oh okay, my hold on, God! Hold on, hold that on. kill. The thing is, Venny does that a lot. And it works. But that kill! It's strong, dude. It's got a lot kill. of knockback. Benny's gonna steal that kill. He, he doesn't has, like, care. No rage. Oh wait, no. This is uh, Town and City. You said that the side blast zones were short, right? No. Oh, they're far. Why did that kill? Venya is strong. Venya is strong. strong. Venya and Greninja are both strong. Shadow Snake's actually a really powerful option for getting kills. Yes. Down smash, I, I respect the down smash because uh, Frozen didn't understand yes. or didn't want to gamble to see which side he was going to land on. Because forward <laughs> smash would have killed. Yes. But if he whiffed it, he'd be wide open. You don't want that. Just go for the guaranteed hit. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. He's, he tried to go for the uh, reground there with the falling up air. He got teched it, and then he still had time to go for the tech chase after. He didn't quite get it. Trades there, really awkward scenario. Yeah, Venya was spamming that up till preventing Frozen from being able to jump out of shield. Mm -hmm. Teleport cancel? I I get a little nervous whenever I see teleport cancels like that because I know I kill myself all the time. Oh, speaking of, I think that was bad DI. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna that was that was DI. suspect DI. Yeah. Let's watch that again. Like I don't. I don't think Frozen realized that he was at a potential so like kill option. He right was. There. Definitely holding left there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess he was retreating and maybe didn't react, but... Because we saw no sparks. Oh, no. You can see the, the blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, can you pause on the blue? Yo, that's... He di left! Yo, Yo. Carlo, that's good tech. We can see how they di Yo! <laughs> Shoutouts to Devin. We can just we, exposed Frozen's di can right we? There. Can we get... Actually, I'm sorry. That was too much. Can we get a golf clap for Devin? A oh wonderful man God. with the wonderful. So you guys, you guys got, you guys got to check that's your uh, DI. <laughs> that's stupid good. Yo, anyone who's on stream about that, that was that was awesome. I, I didn't even think about that as an option that you could do with that tech. Yo, but hey, people, if I'm you're, saying, I knew that I knew that DI was sus. You saw that? <laughs> My man was DIing into the blast zone. Like what? Yo, you guys, no pressure. But if you're on stream in the future, now we've got even greater ways to suss you out. Can you now, do it like frame by frame, Devin? Yeah. He's working on it is what he oh, said. Okay, he's working on it. Okay. Yo. That's really cool. I like the tech.